rest of my time. Chair now recognizes uh, himself for five minutes. Um, you know, we all support democracy. I think the concern a lot of us have is, uh, is a power vacuum. And who is going to fill that void and that power vacuum? Um, there's also a great concern I know uh, from uh, other nations in the Middle East of uh, 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 what's going to happen to them and what ripple effect could potentially take place uh, across the Middle East. Um, certainly countries like you know, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. Um, and when you look <clears throat> at the history or look at who is to fill this void, I think obviously the, uh, I think the young intellectual secular model is, is what we want. Uh, but then there is, as we've discussed, the Muslim Brotherhood. When you look at the history, uh, Mr. Khatoub, the literary scholar um, trained in the United States but, but then advocating violence. Um, Mr. Zawahiri, the number two man to bin Laden. This is what we're, the elements that we're talking about. Uh, so that raises, I think, great concern um, to me in terms of, uh, and I, I don't think we know the answer to this question, how it's going to play out, but that, that is a great cautionary concern I think that all of us have. Uh, and, and Dr. Sedloff, you talked about Iran as well uh, with the vacuum. So I've got a couple more questions, but I just want to throw that out and, and see what response or, you know, the commentaries you had on that. It, um, Congressman, uh, in, the, in the current environment, no one is suggesting that any other institution but the Army fill that void. Um, actually, our hope is that the Army separates itself from the President and then fills the void and opens up a transition, an irrevocable transition. But no one, uh, no responsible person is suggesting to hand over the keys of the country to a, um, uh, um, to, to a leaderless, uh, um, amorphous uh, group. Um, everyone hopes for an institutional change. And that's why, um, I, if, if, if this does happen, if the Army makes the choice, which it so far has been reluctant to do, um, then we may be on the right path. Yeah. Any other comments? Mr. Abrams? You asked about the ripple effects, and I would only say about that that uh, there have been some good ones um, in the sense that uh, the government of Algeria announced that after 19 years the emergency law would be ended. Government of Jordan, the king announced that he would, he has appointed a new prime minister with a mandate for reform. In Yemen, the president announces he won't run again, so they're not going to have a president for life, which is what they feared. So, to the extent that people can get ahead of the curve, this will prove to be positive. Uh, Mr. Craner, I think uh, you're not yet seeing negative effects in any of the countries. I noted earlier, I think if you are going to see negative, uh, if you are going to see effects, it will probably be in the republics, not the monarchies, for a variety of reasons. Um, but I think it's, you know, this is, these events drive home the point that President Bush made and that of late uh, Secretary Clinton has been making in, in a speech in uh, the UAE and another one in Munich that we, not only do they need to get ahead of these events, we need to get ahead of these events. Yeah, I agree with that. <clears throat> Is there something to learn from, a, <clears throat> when we look at Turkey, they have a secular model of uh, government. Do we have any, is there any um, uh, benefit to examine that model um, in terms of applying it to Egypt? There is a, I'd say it's a mixed model in the sense that um, for years and years it, it looked like the right model, the AK party, democratic, moderate. Um, but we've seen in the last year real steps by the prime minister against freedom of the press in Turkey. And so I think Turkey now becomes a worrying model for the direction of Egypt. And last question, uh, El Barde has been, um, uh, and I remember meeting with him in Vienna, uh, he's a very uh, impressive man and he seems to, uh, be a type that could be a consensus builder. Is there any, what are your thoughts in terms of him emerging as a potential leader uh, um, in uh, Egypt? In the, uh, the, the polling that we did just last week in Cairo, um, El Baradé um, uh, came up quite negligible in, mm -hmm. uh, pub, in uh, public opinion support. Um, the, uh, the, the top ranked person um, uh, was, uh, for better or for worse, the current Secretary General of the Arab League, Amr Musa. Um, who supports peace, but isn't always such a, uh, a friend of American interests in the broader Middle East. That's interesting. Yeah, Mr. Craner. I guess Albarade would be a transitional figure at best. 